Hey. Hello there, this is Bobby Price at the Rogue Brewers on the Bay with Jim Klein and he is here to tell us a little bit about what the Rogue's got going on for future events and all of their involvement in the community. <laughs> good morning Jim. Good morning Bobby, how are you? Wonderful, how are you doing? Good, good, good. good. Yes, we're going to have a busy, busy spring and summer it sounds like again. Um, no, uh, you know, happy to have this opportunity. But, um, some things that are coming up here soon. Uh, we have a lot of events going on, but most of the events that we do are based on the community and some community needs type of thing. So they're not just about promoting us, it's about bringing you know, tourism to Newport and or uh, supporting local uh, community charities and things like that. Uh, trying to give back to the community. So a few of those are as simple as like this third tomorrow night, um, Eden Bailey. Um, girl here, uh, two-year-old girl who was mauled by a dog here and had to be lifelike in Portland. We're doing a fundraiser with uh, Rogue, ourselves, uh, Moe's, and Gino's tomorrow night over at Pub where it's an all-you-can-eat pizza, uh, Moe's clam chowder, Gino's finger food, and oysters uh, for $25 had to raise funds for uh, the financial needs they're going to have, which are going to be substantial. Um, and on top of that, we're even going to, Rogue is going to match whatever donations um, that are made tomorrow night. So hopefully we raise a lot of money. <laughs> Absolutely, there's going to be a lot of, a lot of med substantial medical bills that go yeah. along with that family. Just in the life flight alone is tremendous. So, Absolutely. Um, some other things coming up uh, real soon. We have a uh, Brewers Memorial Ale Festival. Take a picture of Brewer right over here. Swing over to the to the brew house. You can see Brewer. The brewer, the famous brewer that will have a memorial festival for coming up soon here in spring. Yes, it'll be the uh, weekend before Memorial Day, and that again is the largest dog-friendly beer festival in the world. We clear out the brewery, uh, open it up for uh, you know, customers. Have. Uh, up to 20, 25 different craft brewers here. Uh, have dog games out in the uh, parking lot. Um, last year, I believe we had almost 2,000 people here and over 600 dogs uh, on the site. But no dog fights. <laughs> One of my very favorite events in the yeah, community. It's, yeah, it's, it's crazy, it's fun, uh, it's amazing to me that we're able to pull it off. But you know, all the uh, charities that are donated to that are all uh, dog friendly char charities. Uh, within the state of Oregon, here locally and over the back. Um, then a couple other things coming up real quick are the uh, Barrel to Keg Run coming up on July 23rd, okay, which is a uh, tri-county, actually, uh, Lincoln, Lynn, and Benton counties, uh, provincial property. It's kind of a redo of the old uh, Peak to Port uh, run. So there's a relay race uh, that we're ending here at the brewery uh, that afternoon. Um, all those, the funds, funds generated for that will all go to uh, provincial poverty, uh, poverty in the three counties. Uh, that same weekend, <laughs> we have a uh, huge event which happens every year, which is the Tuna Classic, okay, which will hold out here that we help sponsor. Um, and that's where we bring in, or not we, but the fishermen bring in, there's two to three hundred boats to come in for that weekend. Um, they all pay a pretty substantial entry fee to go catch tuna. Um, all the chair, uh, charities have been from that are all food bank throughout uh, the state of Oregon. And there's four of those going on. Um, again, we'll have our pints for, uh, pints for Pints, where we do uh, help Red Cross with uh, blood drive, where when you donate a pint of blood, here at the brewery when the wagon is here and then uh, we also will compliment you with a pint of beer to replenish uh, your loss of liquids. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a great incentive to come and donate to Red Cross. We do the dog washes where we raise money for the local uh, animal shelter and stuff like that too. So we try and do a lot of things that are just you know, local based and community support. Uh, that's really what we send our promotions on. Wonderful. The, those are a few really wonderful events that happen throughout the community and we are very proud to have uh, the Rogue as a 
strong sponsor of the Chamber of Commerce as well and look forward to partner partnering and many more activities. <laughs> Always. Well, it'll be coming up is the balloon auction. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll see you at the banquet and balloon auction. Banquet and balloon auction. All right. Thank, Thank you for meeting with us today, Jim, and, and telling us about the Rogue and your involvement with the community. No, thank you. Our pleasure. <laughs>